There are several reasons why we started the Observatory on Human Rights of Children here at Swansea University. Um, first reason is, is where we are in Wales, a country that's had devolved lawmaking powers and policy making powers since 1999. And amongst the um, prominent themes in the exercise of those powers by successive Welsh governments has been a commitment to children's rights, particularly a commitment to the um, obligations on governments in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. We have unique legislation here in Wales, legislation which led the way within the United Kingdom in absorbing into our law the um, uh, requirements of the Convention. And I'm proud to say that with uh, colleagues here and in the legal community and the non-governmental community in Wales, uh, we actually had um, some influence in, um, in the development of that thinking and in the shaping of those laws. So in order to try to make a reality of the promises that governments make when they sign up to the Convention on the Rights of the Child and to make a reality of the requirements now in Welsh law, um, we dedicate the observatory uh, at Swansea with our colleagues at Bangor University to focusing on the implementation of children's rights. And to that end, we've developed a particular approach which clusters around three themes of work, three streams of work, that is research um, into children's rights, research with children, supporting children as researchers, embedding uh, rights in um, policy and practice and in system change, and finally accountability, which is of course dear to any lawyer's heart, and that's why I'm proud that the base of the observatory in Swansea University is at the Hillary Rodham Clinton School of Law. Um, you can uh, find out more about the observatory by scanning these web pages or we've made a rather longer video if you'd like to hear some of my colleagues speaking in more detail about, about the different work that the observatory does.